Processor speeds triple and quadruple, but virtualization density doesn't. David Flynn, CEO of Fusion IO, says he knows why. David? Uh, it's for the same reason that you can't put data intensive applications in a virtual infrastructure. You can't feed the data fast enough. You double the uh, number of VMs, you have to double the data supply. And uh, memory and disk simply aren't uh, fast enough or high enough capacity to do that. Why is it memory and disks can't feed it fast enough? Well, because processors have grown geometrically in their performance, but uh, DRAM and disks have not grown geometrically in their ability to supply the data. So they end up being starved. That's why you have uh, sub-20% sub average processor utilization, because those processors are sitting idle waiting for the data to get delivered. So your solution is? Our solution is, is to use NAND flash as a new type of memory. Not about storage, it's not about retaining data and, and storing it uh, through time so it doesn't get forgotten. It's about staging the data so that processors have instant access to what they need. And this leads to often the ability to have 10 times the workload on a per server basis. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit about how it works. Well, uh, we take uh, NAND flash and we integrate it using a memory controller uh, approach. Uh, we build the, the controller technology and the software to teach the operating system how to use this new type of memory. And the net net is that you then have storage at the speed of memory so that your application uh, is as if it was running with everything in RAM. That's really the best way to describe it. And that means that your, your uh, applications can often get 10 times the throughput. So I have, have a, uh, a partner here who's building video compositing, where they were having a challenge getting uh, the, the frames off of the storage fast enough to composite it live. And, and now they're seeing 100 times uh, more rapid access to the data and six times higher throughput. So what are some applications you've mentioned uh, You've mentioned video. video. Mm -hmm. So in reality, this is very, very horizontal because uh, it, it's, it's for a given amount of processing, if you're going to use it, you have to have a given amount of data feed. So for example, Facebook uses this for their user databases to scale how many users and how much data per user they can put on each database server. Uh, financial services segment, they use us for their trading platforms. How many trades can you process and how much data can you take into consideration in making the decisions so that you're making smart trades? Um, so New York Stock Exchange uses us for actually executing the trades. Uh, many financial institutions use us for their, their trading systems on the other end. And then there's also the risk assessment. How fast can you comb through all of your portfolio positions to assess how at risk the financial institution is? You've got uh, military and other government where you're dealing with very large quantities of data, whether it's in the intelligence community or, or in, in civilian, just, just managing records. So it really is um, very horizontal because it's the information age. And the speed and quantity of access to data is really at the foundation to all of this. And processors have far outstripped the ability for the classic mechanisms, memory and disk, to feed them. David, thanks very much. Yeah, my pleasure.